Hey lovely sexy hobby people, welcome to today's video which is a nostalgia trip to the, was it 3rd edition Warhammer 40k Battle for McCrag box set um, it was either 3rd or 4th, so this was Salt and Black Reach was 5th, Dark Vengeance 6th, yeah so 4th I think um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, so I've managed to grab a copy of this from eBay for a very reasonable price. Actually really surprised at how reasonable the price was. The reason I wanted to get this was because I had purchased a copy of the Battle for McCrag Plastics at the start of the year. Um, and I just wanted a kind of like comparison to what they gave us in that set to what's in this set. So, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a look at the great artwork, obviously Battle from a Crag artwork, pictures of finished models there, um, sides and pretty much the same. Um, and then obviously what we get. And it's interesting that they included the plastics as they were in grey on the back of this particular box and then some of the painted minis and a couple of people playing the game so well, you can hear there's plenty in there what did we get we got the and this is this is still sealed so that's nice we got a digest sized version of the rules book a battle from a crag uh, playbook you got six six-sided dice and a scatter dice because scatter was a thing. Uh, fantastic! These old templates for large blast, small blast, and flamer. Then we had our plastic for the crashed Aquila, and then we had the Space Marines and the Force Field Fence along with a plasma container plasma power container and a generator and these are all of our space marines and obviously our pilot which was a big thing then we had first sprue and then we had the second sprue which differed from the first in that instead of just getting three nodules you got this large one now and then you get plenty of 25 mil bases. This transfer sheet for Battle for McCrag. So enough transfers for all of the Space Marines. Um, and then some decals to go onto the uh, Crashed Aquila. And obviously our flexible whippy rulers. Always great, always great. Let's have a look at the books first. So, I'm going to be completing a sacrilege here and open up this sealed pack. Oops. And first of all, we get our rule book. This has seen slightly better days, but obviously it was just a digest version size, um, and it was called digest sized because Reader's Digest books used to come in this size format, so that's why it's called digest sized version. Pretty much black and white throughout, um, except the end plates. But yeah, everything was in here that you needed to play the game but there was no inclusion of background fluff. And then our Battle from a Crag book. So introduction, Space Marines and Tyranids. Assembly guide. Magna power field projectors is what those pieces are called. The force field fence. Thundercork locator beacon. So they yeah, so this was pretty much the same as the one 
as the like the homing beacon that you used to get with your terminators back then included in the box sets for the terminators back then And it teaches you about the basics, gives you some missions to play. So some basic missions. Rescue Varus. And obviously everything was used here. Um, disarm the fusion core. So the fusion core in the crash to coiler is going to go nuclear. You need to disarm it. Incessant Xenotide, exactly as it sounds. Reinforcements. And there's some tyranny rules here. And then Purge the Xenos. Ultramarines rules and tyranny rules. And then some background fluff about collecting an army. Some next steps. Tyranids as well. Painting. And painting the Crash Aquila as well, which is quite nice. It's really nice that this was all included in this particular set. All the old style boxes here, where a lot of them had the artwork on the front. So cool. And then a summary chart for your various people in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box and we're going to have a look at the plastic. So with this, all you get is a basic sheet. Now, you may be very quick to notice that there is actually a piece missing from these instructions. And it is this. And I'll come on to that. So when they advertised this back in December last year, December 2023, they basically said, get the Battle for McCrag minis um, made to order. And then they showed a picture. But the problem was, was the picture was not the full minis from Battle of McCrag. It was literally, instead of having this sprue and this sprue, it was two of second sprue, so we've got two of these instead. Um, done in the slightly darker grey plastic, but the same nonetheless. Now, something I find interesting is that these pale grey sprues have a sculpt date of 2004, but these ones have a sculpt date of 2006. So all of the sculpt dates on the sprues in the Battle from the Crag box set that I un un um, unboxed first have 2004, whereas these two are 2006. This one, which is the Space Marines, you know, same as the other one here. Okay. Same as the Space Marines, as you can see, 2004 for this one, 2005 for that one. And then this sprue, I don't think has changed. Um, did it change? No, so that's still dated 2004. So I find that really interesting. Um, and the other thing that they included in this was a bag of... Um, a 25 millimeter bases so they didn't even uh, nicely give you 32 millimeter slot bases so that you could include these first born marines if you decided to build them to include these first born marines into um, your uh, current army uh, obviously with all the new space marines being on 32 millimeter bases so that was that was the main difference, and that was one of the reasons why I thought, no, do you know what? I'm I'm going to bite the bullet because I've been wanting to get McCrag box set because I did have it, and I've been wanting to get it again for a while. 
So let's have a look at the plastic, shall we? Come down. Let's have a look. So let's have a look at the tiers first. Now this is obviously quite an older set, so this is a little bit bent. I'm not actually, I'm not actually going to build these. These are going to remain in the box set, but I am going to probably do something which people will call sacrilege. And that is I wanted an extra one of these. So I already have one um, and I wanted another one just for um, to add into game mechanics, etc. So we get five Termagaunts on this and we get three Gene Stealers. So in total, in the box set, we get 10 Termagaunts and six Gene Stealers. We also get three of these infestation nodes and we get eight spore mines. Uh, spore mines um, are really good. Um, they just float about and explode when they come into contact with something. And if you look, this is basically the same sprue. But as I said, the difference is that on this one, you've got this digestion pool. I call it a digestion pit um, rather than infestation nodes. So, so that was that. And then on the Space Marine sprue, and I liked this Space Marine sprue for the reason that we had these additional items, these extra things which could be used. Now these again popped up as a Forge World purchase option after the Imperial Armour Volume 4, the Anfelium project um, was released. Along with all the wonderful scenery that Forge World produced for that particular book. Um, so these force fields um, in the Anfelium project were used to sort of like try and contain, um, essentially they were like raptor pens from Jurassic World. Um, and they were designed to try and contain the Tyranids within specific areas and it didn't work. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Um, and then obviously we get our Space Marines and these are all obviously, you know, there are 2004 sculpts so that are a little bit squat you know they're still they're still good still good sculpts still great sculpts they're obviously a little flat because of the sculpting uh, abilities back in those days and the necessary uh, the necessity to try and keep it simple for push fit miniatures um, and then obviously to give the sergeant a little bit more of a three dimensional feel he's got a pistol which just attached to its arm and he was pointing that forward and then we've got our lieutenant Varys here um, the pilot and I do have him have I got him out on display so yeah I have a lieutenant Varys that I've uh, painted um, and I basically painted him his carapace armor green so he's basically because i collect dark angels so he's affiliated to the dark angels you know maybe a surf in some form uh, the aquila the crashed aquila was potentially part of the dark angels armory so again really nice minutes did you know for their age and for what they are they're still really nice miniatures and then we have what a lot of people considered to be the real cream of this set was the crashed aquila um, this tail piece slotted in here just to give you a slight three-dimensional uh, feel to the vehicle but again you know the way this is molded it's a single mold so literally just two pieces um, and obviously hollow inside but um, what I did is on my crashed Aquila, I added in some plastic card and then some. I cut some old earbud cable, some old headphone cable, and then splayed the wires out a bit and just draped them in there to act as battle damage. You know, just as a little bit of extra interest for these. So, 
yeah, I'm really, really pleased I've managed to get hold of a copy of this, um, especially at a decent price. And that was that's basically what's been keeping me back from picking up a set all these years. You know, I've wanted to get another set just to go into my own collection. And from that, um, this will be majority, the majority of it kept clean. I am going to be really naughty and clip out the digestion pool though, because I want one. Um, and I'm really disappointed that when they release these figures, you know, we do get obviously another Aquila lander crashed aquila lander but i'm really disappointed that they only included two of the uh infestation um sprues in the night uh, 2023 re re um print uh rather than the original uh Thing. so that was the reason also just wanted to show you the, the, the slight differences between these box sets as they came um, the reprint and then obviously the original box set but this is <coughs> Battle from a Crag and then this was the um, I've lost the lid. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> and then obviously then there was the reprint. But hopefully you enjoyed that little nostalgia trip and I will see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.